All right, so we just did a select. Now, we hardly ever wanna see everything. So there's a way that we can filter what we see and the where clause allows us many, many different ways to filter. Uh, and as we'll see later on, it allows us to connect different tables together or join them so that we can uh, pull data from multiple tables. All right, so let's see, we want a SQL query that will return all customers with the title of Ms. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can use what we've done already to get started there. Uh, select, uh, let's go ahead and just select all the columns from our sales LT customer. All right, so I run that and you can see what we've got. I've got a bunch of customers. Uh, I've got titles, so Mr. Ms. Uh, one there that's a null missing. So the idea here is we want to filter and just see those with the title of Ms. Okay, so we can do that by adding a where clause here. And the title is the name of the column, so where title equals so her title equals so we can use operators in our queries just like you would in an excel formula all right so her title equals and now this is a text field you can see it's um, a, a categorical field with uh, text entries so from a database standpoint the database doesn't care whether it's categorical or not it just knows that there's text in there so when there's text and we want to specify a value, a text value, we have to enclose it in single quotation marks. So I type one in and you can see the query builder helps me by closing that quotation mark and I'll just type in the MS period that I want. So where title equals MS. So you can see right now I have 847 rows and that includes all the different titles we have. Now I run this. Yeah, I've got 340 rows now, and they all have the title of Ms. So I can select and filter with my where clause. Okay, so I think we have uh, completed that query. Let's get back to the module and see what we need to do next.